Hey, it's Tara here from Camel Channel. I'm a camel behaviorist, wellness and energy expert, and I wanna to talk to you about camel safety, how to be safe around camels. A lot of people don't put a lot of thought into how to be safe around camels, but there's things, tips and tricks that I can teach you in this video so that you can guarantee your safety around camels and also for that camel to be calm whilst in your presence. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and like this video and watch it to the end because there's lots of information I'm going to cover so that you can start learning more about camels. And hopefully if you haven't got a camel yet, you'll end up having a camel in your life. Let's do it. So just before we get started with some live demos, I want you to be aware that camels can kick with their front legs and their back legs. Fun fact, right? <laughs> A kind of scary fact as well. So with the back the back legs the camel can actually like if i'm the camel here the camel can kick 180 degrees so from from out out to the side all the way around to the back and with the front legs the camel can just go forward they can't kick out to the side they can just go forward so it's a kick and it's a hard kick even though they have pads as um and soft pads as feet not hooves it's the force and the, the, the force behind the size of them that can ac accidentally hurt you. I want to make a point about this accidental hurting that camels do. A lot of the times humans can actually avoid camel accidents before they even happen. And that comes back to learning some really important safety awareness around camels. Like a lot of camel owners don't even know that camels kick with their front legs until they get kicked. And they're like, I think I just got kicked, butt kicked by my camel. Cause if you're leading them, you're going to get butt kicked and not know about it or know about it more than well. And you know, it can, sometimes it can be, they can do that accidentally through excitement. Um, sometimes a plastic bag could be moving and they, they just get scared and, Camels generally don't know their own size, so they just act like big dogs and jump around and all their legs go flying. And also a fun fact, camels can also kick sitting down too, but that's a video for another day. I wanted to show you how you can approach a camel, um, whether you're a camel owner or a wannabe camel owner, or you're a person that works with camels or wants to be around camels, how to keep your, yourself safe um, with the camel standing and you standing, of course, um, whilst you're attempting to do whatever you need to do with your camel. So I've got Jack here as a demo camel and we're gonna get started. Let's do it. So um, as you've noticed, I spent the time actually connecting with Jack here. Rather than just go into his space and demand him to do things, I'm considering him, I'm considering his feelings for lack of a better word. I feel like there's a better word than that, but like I'm considering the fact that, that he's a living being as well. Okay, so if he wants to can do that connection thing, he wants to give me a kiss and stuff, I always allow for that time and space for that to happen. Every time I work with camels, I always allow for that time because they need that more than anything else. If you don't have that connection and that bond and that trust, then everything else is going to be a lot trickier so it's a little bit hard to tell probably in the video screen but i um jack i'm in line with jack's legs here his front legs which as we know now camels can kick with their front legs but also i am far far enough away that i can i can articulate in my head if he did try to kick then i then i'm going to be out of that kicking space and the best way to tell this here's a little trick i'll get jack to back up first back up jack that's good boy. Okay, so the the simplest way to do this is to and to know that you're safe and out of the striking range of um, a camel's front legs is generally their legs. Generally, I haven't seen it yet, but generally, that the 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 front of the the end of their legs, so their toes, will be um, behind the front of their nose. So down here. So I know if I'm standing in front of Jack's nose that I'm going to be safe 
because his legs can't go any further. It's different when they're running at you, of course, then you just run and get out of the way. Um, but you know, in this case, if something was to scare him instantly, I know I'm gonna be safe because I'm in front of his nose. And a really strong reason why that's how I walk camels too. Because again, they got very long legs. I don't, I don't walk them under here because look, as soon as I get under here, I'm in all the strike ranges under here. Jack, you know, Jack and I have built a rapport. He knows me, he trusts me. I know he's not gonna do anything stupid yet. <laughs> Um, but you know, that's why I don't encourage people to walk their camels under here because that, that could butt kick you, butt kick you, <laughs> really freaking hurt and or something worse. Okay. So your safety spot is actually in, in, when you're working with the camel this way in line in front of here. Now, if you try to start working around the camel, Jack, come here, baby. Good boy. I think that's the turn to the side. Good. All right. So Jack's on his side now, okay, and again, like he's, he, remember how I explained at the start of the video that they can only kick forward with their front legs. Their back legs, 180 degrees. Do you think I'm in a safe spot here? Probably not. If I did not know this camel, I would not be standing here. I would be reading the body language and judging, uh, judging upon that, but for the most part, I would not stand here because he could reach me, almost, almost reach me. Probably not from here because his toes are all the way back there. Um, let me just get a better shot of this. So if Jack's front legs are here and his back legs are back there, his front legs can't quite reach me if I'm in line with his shoulder. I'm not in front of his shoulder, I'm in line with his shoulder. So I'm safe here. But if I move back slightly, his back legs are just there, okay? and. Um, I have seen this, and if you're a camel owner, you may have seen it too. They can actually lift up their back leg and scratch the back of their front leg, um, which is pretty amazing and great flexibility. So I know that the, the camel's back legs can reach its front leg, just as I said it. The timing is impeccable, Jack. <laughs> I hope you got that because like he literally just lifted up his back legs and put it um, on his front. Thank you, Jack. He's so kind. <laughs> so, um, if you're if you're unfamiliar with um, a new camel that you're working with or and or biggest and or you haven't built that trust and bond and relationship with that camel you want to be really strict mentally strict with yourself about the safety issues we don't need these news headlines of camels hurting people and camel owners and things like this 99.9% .9 of the time when a camel injures a person it is the person's fault because that person did not have that understanding. And so I cannot express this strongly enough, how important it is that you get educated on this. It's just like a lot of things in the world, you know, biting dogs and things like that. Like a lot of the time it, it's a human error, not an animal error. So Jack, do you like to back up a bit so we can see your beautiful face? Back, good boy. So we've got our safety spots happening here. So very, very basic stuff, okay? There's more advanced stuff in my training course, which you can look at um, over at my website. But being in line with their nose, you're generally safe from the front legs. Um, being in line with their shoulder, where I was standing before, you're safe from the back legs. But anything further back, it's, it's a trust factor then. Do you trust this camel enough not to kick you? Does this camel trust you enough it not to kick you. I can go all around Jack's body um, quite safely. No, I won't get kicked. And again, it comes back to that trust factor. So this is just a very short video on how to be safe around camels if you're just a beginner and or you're a camel owner and you're just learning about camels and you just go, oh my God, I did not know camels kicked with their front legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here and letting this information because that is an injury that you do not need, even if it's just a butt flick, you know, like it's just unnecessary. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my new channel here. Um, there's lots and lots more videos like this to come. If you want a little bit of an intro to camels, you want something to read, I've written an ebook called Introduction to Camels and you can have a read through that and learn about their behavior, what, what, like what camels behaviors are, um, what to expect in camel behavior, also a bit of well-being stuff, a bit of camel health. It's a good little intro. If you're new to camels or you want, you want a camel, you just want to know what it's going to take to, to get to that point of owning a camel for the first time. Lots of information in there about training as well. Again, it's Tara Lee here, camel behaviorist, wellness and energy expert. 
and you can find more about me and everything that I do with camels over at camelchannel.com.